Okay, so what we're doing today is a little bit of exploration and we do not know what we're going to find. We're just on our way to a claim we staked last year and we're just checking it out. Uh, no reported work on this claim other than uh, just a little bit of prospecting in a couple of creeks. Uh, they found a sample which is said at 198 grams per ton of gold so uh, there's been recent logging as you can see so we are trying to see if we can find anything so it's basically a day of exploring and we'll show you whatever we find so the reason why we stopped here we just saw an exposure uh, which contains some sulfides here. So you have chert um, exposed right here. Kind of looks like this was dug out for quarry rock, heavily oxidized. So we're just going to quickly take a look here, see if we can get a sample off this little sulfide exposure, and move on. All right, so we've exposed the sulfide vein a little bit. It's very small. Uh, largest is two and a half centimeters in width. Uh, we've chased it over a meter and a half and then kind of dives down, it takes a little dip. But we got enough for a little sample here. Definitely sulfide calcopyrite and pyrite and you have some magnetite in here so I'm gonna take this sample catalog it end of the day we'll decide uh, which ones to send in so we'll see you at the next place okay so kind of interesting here you have this really porous looking rock which looks more like uh, a diorite and then down here you have uh, some granodiorite and granite you can see you got sulfide mineralization throughout your host rock So kind of interesting. Lots of interesting rock types here. Looks like you got a piece here, which has more sulfides on it as well. So this is interesting here, your sulfide, definitely calcopyrite. Through your host rock. And here you have a solid sulfide vein on the side of this rock. Very interesting geological features here. All right, so we've come across a stack of uh, boulders that the logging companies stacked here in their recent road building efforts. And there's some interesting rocks here. Uh, you have what looks to be barite um, with mineralization you got lots and lots of mica right here in contact uh, we found some samples that are slightly mineralized so we're gonna hammer a little bit of this take a sample or two and we're gonna send in one for an analysis
Okay, so all along here, what we're dealing with is free mill gold. So we have free mill gold, calcopyrite, a bit of pyrite, and you have this other mineral here. Can't 100% tell them what it is. But uh, we'll know with the assay. It's just a little too small. Almost looks like a cross between um, molybdenite and galena, but uh, it's got more of the makeup of molybdenite. So you got more here, and you have a bit of calcopyrite in here as well. What we're going to do is we're going to take this sample here, send one piece in for a 51 element ICP analysis, and we are going to see what is in it. We'll also do a fire assay, uh, probably multi acid, actually, uh, for uh, gold, and we'll test everything. All right, we got uh, more mineral here. You have more free mill gold. And right there, you also have what looks like calcopyrite. So this is going to be another bagged sample. You got more AU right there. For sure. Awesome. Okay, we got more mineralization here. I don't see any free mill gold on this piece. Uh, hunk of quartz with calcopyrite all throughout. It's a nice hefty sample. So by looking, it looks like that definitely is uh, molybdenite. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see by the sample results. All right, let's move on. We got a bit more here of exposed outcrop. We got a fallen tree. We don't have our chainsaw with us, so don't have much time anyway because we got to get out. I don't want to get locked in the gate. Okay, more sulfides. So we got quite a large amount of road to search here such limited time so you have lots of sulfides in your contact zone especially in this type of post rock more there but I think your real potential is with your diorite granodiorite and uh Quartz exposure is a mineral. So they've built these logging roads here, but they haven't actually logged. Uh, looks fairly new. Uh, there's a lot of new rock on the road, so I'm thinking they're going to be doing some logging soon uh, with this entire mountaintop. So any logging exposes new showings so that's always a good sign so far they've exposed quite a bit of mineralized rock not any definite showings but this is definitely worthwhile to pursue in my opinion so the next time we'll have to bring a chainsaw cut some of these down if they haven't started logging So we're going to post this same result for that uh, one sample right after this. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you guys at the next one. Peace.